Hello friends. Okay, so I did the Timu haul. I've posted that, you've seen it. And then I thought, what if I keep going and I put all of this stuff away and I chat to you while I do it and you can see this stuff a bit more in detail. So if you wanna see all this stuff in detail, then hopefully you're here for that. Uh, if you don't, just go to the haul video because this is gonna be long form I'm probably not going to edit it much and but you'll see you'll get to see all the stuff so um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna organize put my beads away so I bought off of Amazon these little bead storage containers in addition to the bead storage containers that are coming for my Timu stuff um, these are very small so I think these are actually for diamond painting, maybe? But I figured that this Timu stuff, I'm sure, is uh, small enough that all of this will work. So I think we've already gone through all of these. Oh my gosh, is that a little ducky in a sombrero playing a guitar? I think it might be. Uh, so yeah, so this is gonna be pretty boring. So hang on to your horses. So, and I might not show you every single one of them. Like this one I think is a whale tail. Mermaid, it's a mermaid, it's a mermaid. It's the back of a mermaid. Both sides are the back of a mermaid. Wow, that's really confusing. Like, it's a mermaid. That's her head up top. Um, there's a little starfish. There's a cat. There's a seashell. There's lots of sea things. I feel like Timu really loves their sea-themed things. There's love. Oh my gosh, there's another. Wait. Is that Hello Kitty? No, no, I think it's a duck. I don't know. It looks like the duck with the sombrero. Oh, and there's a, oh, that's cool. It's like a cat. My hands are dirty, I'm sorry. Oops. Oh yeah, <clears throat> it's got little swirls. Uh, smiley face, snowflake. A wreath, a flower, a crown, some more stars, There's lots of stars, butterfly, butterfly, star, fish, key, star, fish, key. And they all fit in here perfectly. So this is what we're going to do. Aren't you excited? I don't think that these would fit in here. I think there might be a bit too many. Some of these will definitely have to go in my bigger organizer that's coming hopefully tomorrow. This thing was supposed to be delivered, well it was supposed to be delivered by yesterday, uh, which was a Sunday because you were seeing this in the future and I'm coming to you from the past. Hi. Uh, I still really like that one. The bunny. So I've been waiting on this thing for quite a while. Um, I feel like their shipping has gotten a little slower. Oh, there's another elephant. I like that. Oh my gosh, there's a trumpet or a bugle. That's adorable. Too bad they don't have a trombone. That's what my son played. I mean, he wouldn't want trombone jewelry or anything, but who knows? Maybe I could think of something to make for him. And then these are the keys. The keys to the castle. So some of these are definitely not going to fit. That one will fit in the bottom. 
oops. Let me see. So, oh, these are cute. Yeah. These are totes adorbs. I only got one owl key. This one right here. These will not fit. All right. So I haven't been notified yet. It was supposed to be here yesterday. I haven't been notified yet that I've got my $5, but I think that they're going to do that in the morning. So these actually may be glass. They might actually be glass. They're pretty dang heavy. I do not believe that they are plastic. Well, they're really pretty. These look way better than they did in the package. These are great. Oh, gonna need two containers for all of these. That's fine. I have 60 total. You get 30 her little tray and I I bought two trays thinking I don't know what I was thinking I think I was just worried that I was gonna have all these beads oh shenanigans and know where to put them which is not unrealistic really all right so these I'll have to put away when I get my bigger ones tomorrow all right, and then the next thing is maybe these guys. Cut them open. What I need is like a little thing on my pegboard that I can put those in. Oh, wait. I do have this little stand over here that I put my daubers in. Mm, that's not working so great. Never mind. Okay. I'll have to figure this part out. Uh, I can put these away. I bought these die keeping envelopes with um, magnets. Gosh, I could not think of the word. I was like, sticky, black, what's it called? Uh, so these work really well. And then I put them in this little, I got this uh, binder, I guess, from Amazon. Of course, where do you go for office supplies? Well, if Timu doesn't have it, and if you're not placing a Timu order, you go to Amazon. So, see, this works for that. Oh, that's oh, that bent. That one is not bent. It was this piece that was bent. Nice. Put a little collection over there. So, I definitely like getting the bead supplies from Timu. I think that's a smart move. Uh, and ribbon. And I know their ribbon isn't, I know it's all polyester and some people have been like, eh, it's a little questionable on the quality. Um, we're about to see their quality of their uh, little snippers here.
Well, good enough to fling it over there. smoky here today. <sighs> I do not like having a wildfire season. Like, we don't have any wildfires near us, but there are some in the north part of the state and there are some in the south part of the state. And so we are getting all of that smoke, depending on which way the wind blows. So it is not terribly fun. Uh, da, 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 da. That bit there, it's got a little, let's see, I think it will. It does, amazing. All right, this one's full. Let's put it back in its little envelope and then we'll slide it back in here. And then we'll turn the page. And yeah, I guess I don't need the envelopes. I guess I could just do the magnets in the, the magnet sheets inside of the slips here. But sometimes I do pull out more than one. And I like to have them contained on my desk. So, yeah. Fun. And this little guy. Super easy. I'm not even going to take him apart, although he does come apart, it looks like. Or she. Might be a she. Not everything is a he true. This doesn't have an opening. I don't even know how to get this one going. I guess you snip it. I suppose. Yep. I watched one lady take some dye, some dyes apart, and she cut herself on the actual dye. And I was like, well, that seems dangerous. Oh, that's cute. I know I already have a tag that about that size. Actually, I think it's a little bit bigger than that one. Um, but that's fine. I mean, I need it. I need all the tags I can get because they are awesome. I have all these ideas for making tag things that I want to make. Oh, these are the little holes so that you can, oh, isn't that precious? Super good. I'm very excited about that. That's a little label. I'm not sure why I need two of those. Maybe there is something that I am missing. A lot of times I'm just trying to figure it all out. There's lots of moving parts and a lot of this stuff is not intuitive. And you will find people who are like, how do you not know that? Well, I don't know because it's not intuitive and that's not my fault. It's not, doesn't mean there's anything wrong with me. Doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. When I taught programming, I had to remind people all the time that programming is not intuitive. And if people act like that it should be, well, it was not intuitive to them either. 
And I don't know, maybe art can be intuitive to some people where they're like, well, I mean, art can, sure, but all these tools? No way. Not necessarily. Because we all go after, we all tackle problems in a different way. You have your way, and I have my way, and I may look at your way and be like, what in the world are you doing? And you may look at my way and be like, what in the world are you doing? And I'm now realizing that I should have just put this on one sheet all by itself. I did this before. I was like, why are you taking this apart right now? Take it apart when you need it. Right. Although at that moment in time, I'll probably be videoing myself with y'all and you'll be like, why didn't you do that in that Timu video I watched? I'm kidding. You probably won't. I know what you're all here for. You don't care about my dyes. You want to know about this paper. You want to see the paper. We're here for the paper. Okay. Uh, I am going to edit this part because I'm going to clean this metal up. Okay, I lied. I took all the plastic off of these things because, wow, was that loud. So, I wanted to... So, I got these, which are so loud to open because you have to push this part in. Um... Oh, that's much quieter. So I'm gonna transfer these little ladies. Ooh, isn't she adorable? Look at her. Oh my goodness. Is she the Cindy Lauper lady that I found on that other video? Maybe. Um, something smells. It might be this plastic. But, I think I will transfer these ladies in here and then there we go. Whoops. I think I got some lady's foot caught. Oh yeah, I like those. Do they yeah, they stay closed? Cool. Okay, I like those. And then these can hold um, beads or th these things. And then they can live on my desk. All right. There we go. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to put in these um, yet, but I really do. This size is so good. I think this is the large and this is the medium, or this is the small and this is the medium or something. I don't remember. You want this little tab if you want this specific size. Um, and I think these are a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful size. Uh, all right, let's look at the paper. Going in anything but ordinary so there's the top piece and it's very thick cardstock and you get two pages per um, pattern man I don't know why I can't find words oh these are great this reminds me of that game Azul this is really, I love that. So I got these for journaling, die cuts, that sort of thing. They're six by six, and I know that you can make, I know there's videos on like how to make a journal out of six by six paper. I've gotta look them up. Oh, these are so good. They're single-sided, which I actually don't want double-sided. There's very few things where I'm like, Double-sided is the way to go. Um, most of my stuff, it doesn't matter. But these I think I would use for like making tags and things like that because then they would be blank on the back and I, you could write on them. I do need a better paper filing system. I do not have a very good paper filing system at all. Okay, so there is the... Tile. 
And then this one. Dark World. Six by six paper pad. So again, this is super thick, which means you could cut this and make strips. And that would be kind of cool. You might even want to save that dark world. Oh, this is fabulous. Oh, this is great. It's like a tree at night. This is what I came for. I'm here for the crows on the roses on the wood. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Oh, this is so good. A little spooky house. Some wallpaper. Some more wallpaper. Even more wallpaper. Skulls. Oh, this is great. Oh, neat. Oh, I like that a lot. That's cool. And then we got the stripes, which I like a lot too. They're very grungy. Oh, these are good. And I'll be honest, these paper packs were a bit more than I kind of wanted to spend. I think this one was $4 and this one was $3, like $4.70 something and $3.70 something. But then they all came down in price after I bought them, so I did get the price adjustment. All right, Secret Castle. So this is different because this is the same as that. It's not interesting. Okay. Well, let's put Dark World on top of Dark World. Secret castle up here. Not that y'all can see. But anyway, I would cut all of those. And then on this one, I would probably do the same thing. I would probably cut... I'd make this into a tag itself. And probably that too. Because it's thick enough. No reason not to. Uh, so these are like, I think, a bit more grungy. These are more Halloween and these are more like gothic. It's not terribly Halloween, but you could use it in Halloween. Oh, that's great. Move that out of the way. I need to get out of the closet. I'm sorry, y'all. Still haven't done it. We've got a lot going on over here. I still got to move a bunch of hay around. <sighs> Not moving the hay around. Oh, I love the haunted mansion. The moon phases. Skulls. There's lots of skulls and skeletons. I like it. More wallpaper. Human fear. It's a card catalog, which would make children today very frightened because they would be like, how does it work? And we would be like, with numbers. Yes, I know, it's a little confusing. You also need a librarian. So those are cool. Put those up there. And then they would be like, I have to interact with a human? And you would be like, yes, but librarians are like the coolest people alive. And they would be like, absolutely not. Can I just text them? All right, so this uh, is a little thicker, but I bet it's no thicker. Than, nope, it's no thicker than the paper. So this is still a piece that you could totally use. Uh, and this says, at last, we thought you'd never arrive. Well, these are great to cut out. Oh, this is like a collage itself. Oh. That would be beautiful on the inside of a journal. Oh, look at the rabbit. I'm not a big Alice in Wonderland fan. My sister was. I'm not. Oh, this is so funny. This is brilliant. Old ads with Alice in Wonderland. Oh, look at all the tags. How cute. Oh, and look, it's like little ribbons them out. Little cards. <gasps> little like playing cards. Oh, those are cute. Cute. 
This was kind of an impulse buy. I'm not normally an Alice in Wonderland person, but I thought, well, I bet I could use some of the Halloween themed. I mean, he's got candy corn, the Mad Hatter. Yeah, I can totally use some of this in my nocturnal journal. So all of this is nocturnal journal. This is not. Um, and then I've got my stamps, which are great. I don't know how to open them. I think it's French. I can't actually see. This says Le Soleil, which is the sun. And this says La Lune, Lune, Lune? I don't know. Laura did not speak French on the internet for heaven's sakes. Um, so, yeah, I think it's French. It's very pretty. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you've seen all this. Oh, here is a pack of paper. Let's look through this and then we're gonna call it good. And then that's 30 minutes of going through all of the items and then in the package and then 30 minutes of really looking at them. So there's four, there's four per thing, pattern, whatever these words are that I can't find anymore in my head. Maybe it's all the smoke. Oops, nope, come on. Oh, that's neat. Oh, this would make such summery, cheerful master boards. If you don't know what a master board is, go check out my master board playlist. It'll tell you all you need to know. And if it doesn't, and you wanna know something else, you're like, this doesn't answer my question ask. Ask in the comments. Even the old videos, I answer all of my comments because I think the comments are fun. I love comments. All right. Well, uh, let's see. I can put my stencils away and then you all can see my stencil book. I have three stencil books uh, because one is not enough. I apologize for the crackly plastic, but there's nothing I can do about it. I guess I could edit all of it out. So I suppose I'm lying when I say there's nothing I can do about it. All right. These. One. Two. gonna fit in there? Barely. If there's weird jumping around on my videos, it's because I'm editing out parts that sound bad. I do it for you. I do it all for you. Is that gonna work? I think so. It is bent, so I may have to, hmm. I don't know. It's bent pretty good. I wonder if I can iron that out. Maybe. I don't think it's the end of the world. Will these fit long ways? Oh my gosh, they will. Will you ever be able to get them out long ways? Absolutely not. Who am I kidding? You kid no one. This one's great, but what's funny is I just got that one, which is very similar. They have like a quilt. Clearly, I was on a uh, on a quilt kick when I bought those stencils. Cool. Wow, did I just fill up this whole stencil kick? I did. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I don't have any more room for. That's not true. I have a very large stencil book, which so I have room for large stencils. Ha ha ha. Get it. All I can buy are very big stencils. I don't want very big stencils. Yet. All right. And these are... I wonder... These are just paper, so they're not cardstock. 
But I really feel like you could stick these together. You know, like you could cut them all up. I bet people already do that. You're late to the party again. I'm late to every party. All right, well, I'm gonna stick these with my other stickers that are words. I'm going to unwrap all of these, which is really boring. All right, these guys go in here with my other stamps. And I've got this jute ribbon. This is, I mean, it's pretty sticky. And it's what I need. I just need, I thought about just buying the foam squares, but then I, they were so, they were way more expensive than this. Um, so that's pretty sticky. And I, I needed it for one project. Now I can't even remember what project that was. Um, these silicone brushes are actually kind of cool. So my other silicone brushes have a fatter handle and I think more of a divot than these do. These are more straight, which is great. And yeah, I got Mod Podge or Gel Matte Medium all over that. I do like the thinner handle. Whoa. Okay, well, might want to put some Gorilla Glue in that. Can you pull these out? No. These are from Amazon. These are from Timu. I guess it's easy to clean. So, it's not a terrible, it's not a terrible way to spend 44 cents. Let's be honest. Those will be helpful. Uh, this, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I could untwist it. Oh yeah, if I untwisted it, it would have exactly what I need. All right, I might do that. And I think I said that I was going to stop. I said I was going to stop a minute ago. And I haven't. Uh, and then I got this to go on like journal covers. Oh, that's cool. I like these a lot. I like these way more than I thought I would. Actually, They're funny. Now I feel like maybe I should have gotten two, but I think I have plenty to use and then I can use it up and go find more. Cool. And I got my paints, which I really want to try and use. So maybe I'll paint. All right. Well, this is your bonus video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully it wasn't, hopefully it was at least what you expected. If not, maybe a little bit more. All right. We're going to make a nocturnal journal in October get prepared get your nocturnal journal things together we can do it together and yeah thanks have a wonderful day don't forget to like and subscribe and all of that fun stuff if you want to if you don't that's okay bye